as an example here. So when I was looking at cough, here are all the icons. Uh, this is an icon for cough. If I hold down the space bar, it says cough. I'll click on cough, and then you've got this. I'll go to night, click on night. Night aggravates, AGG for aggravation, 199 remedies. If I just click on that and hit enter, then the remedy is taken from here and transferred over to here on this clipboard. So I've got cough worse in sleep or at night, cough waking on, cough tickling from the throat, chest, wound, mouth, discoloration, redness of the tongue, all these remedies. Now, what I'm going to do is click over here and the computer will graph these remedies by symptoms and I'll show you. So if I make that bigger, you can see what the computer does is Here's cough, worse sleep at night, and here are all the remedies that have, these are the names of the remedies on the top here, and these are all the remedies that have cough, worse sleep at night. So there's a whole bunch of them, and it goes on and on. If I, if I scroll over, I'll see all these other remedies. Cough, waking on. So there's one remedy, this first remedy, has every single symptom. The second remedy has every single symptom. The third remedy has every symptom except redness at the tip of the tongue. Um, so, uh, so we'll talk about so, that. So, I'm not going to let the computer decide for me. I'm going to look at these factors and then make a decision. So, um, but you can see what's happening here. The computer is giving me like, basically it's saying sulfur is the number one remedy because it doesn't. Belladonna is the second remedy because it has every single symptom but not quite as strongly as sulfur. So see these numbers in here indicate the strength of the symptom. So it can be one through four. So a one means it's been reported in the literature to have that symptom, but it's not a hallmark or characteristic of that remedy. Um, a two, it's a little stronger. Three, it's been reported all the time and it's a really strong symptom for the remedy. Four, you see very rarely, but when you see a four, it's really significant because that means that that symptom is like stronger for that remedy above all other remedies. Okay? So sulfur, and, and you tend to sulfur is was one of the first remedies ever used, and so it has so many and it has many symptoms. So it comes to the top of the chart almost always. Um, but in order to prescribe sulfur, you'd need someone, you'd probably want someone who's really, really hot, really, really sweaty, and really sensitive to the heat wants to uncover and, and all of that. So we didn't quite have that in this patient. With belladonna, um, you see typically, if you know this, you see more redness of the face, or one side's red, the other side's pale. You see um, um, other symptoms that aren't really so present here. The next one to consider, so belladonna would be, it'd be a possibility, it just wasn't my first choice. Um, phosphorus covers all the symptoms except the tip, redness of the tip of the tongue, and I recall that that wasn't really a strong symptom. She thought that the tongue seemed a little red at the tip, but wasn't really sure. Uh, but let's look at the, the, the significant or high symptoms here between three and four. The thirst for large quantities of water is a three, so that's really high. Um, well, also uh, wanting cold drinks. Uh, also really high is the um, better from company, and also really high is the fever, worse sleep. Pretty high is the, is the sneezing, um, and everything else was a one. The cough, uh, with the tickling of the throat pit, the waking, uh, waking up the cough, and the cough will sleep worse at night. <coughs> so, um, we're running out of time, so I can't go through every single remedy. But the thing to do is go through each remedy and say, kind of go back to the book now. You've kind of seen where the symptoms fall. Go back to the book, read about these remedies, and see which fits the best. And then make your choice based on you know, your kind of gut instinct and your reading of those remedies and see which really fits best. So I chose phosphorus, and apparently I was right because the child got better really quickly. Phosphorus is known for, it's very common for cough. Um, it's the remedy you think of first when you think of someone who's craving um, uh, large quantities of cold drinks. And it's one of 
one of it's probably the top five remedies for uh, patients who are craving attention and feel better from company and being around people. Uh, oftentimes, when people are sick, they want to be left alone. So the fact that she really wanted more attention and felt better from it was huge. And those are the most significant factors um, uh, from that remedy. So that's why I chose it. So that's it. So we're going to stop there, and we're going to pick up next week in class five. We're going to start taking on specific conditions now. So we're going to go through, we'll do, um, uh, we'll talk about sore throat as a topic and give the most common remedies for sore throat and distinguish um, how you would pick a remedy for sore throat. We'll do the same thing for cough. We'll do the same thing for fever. We'll do the same thing for uh, a lot of just colds and flus and infections. That's where we'll start. And uh, we'll see you next month. Okay. Thank you.